Peterman from the gun. Here we go. Pass. Tip. And intercepted by Ramsey to close it out. Jaguars are heading the pitch. Dean has answered the question now concerning Tyrod Taylor. Good evening, everyone. Taylor will be playing for a cold weather team in a city along Lake Erie, except it won't be Buffalo. It's Cleveland now. Yeah, 7 Eyewitness Sports Director Joe B is here with us. Joe, a couple of words to describe your thoughts on this trade. A complete and total heist. <laughs> okay. We'll get your hot take on the trade in just a minute. But first, let's go to 7 Eyewitness Sports Reporter Jenna Clary with the details of the deal. Yeah, guys, the deal today pretty much tells us the Bills have their eyes on a new chapter. According to multiple reports reported earlier today, the Bills will get the 65th overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. That's the Browns' top choice in the third round. That also gives the Bills six picks in the first three rounds. Big leverage when it comes to moving up the draft board and finding the that Bay franchise. The Buccaneers have traded the seventh pick to the Buffalo Bills with the seventh pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. The Buffalo Bills select Josh Allen, quarterback. Josh Allen has to come up with something. Allen, no timeouts as he runs, and he does so well all the way out to midfield. He laterals the ball. The ball is then batted out of bounds by Dawson Knox. There is Desperation. no foul for an illegal bat as the ball was batted backward and out of bounds. Three-man rush against Allen. Wobbler, but able to get it. Come there's the slant, and there's Beasley. Remember, no timeouts, but now they're in field goal range for Hauschka to send us to over. It's down, you spike it. Now it's second down. Now they have time to regroup and figure out how they want to attack the last 20 seconds. <laughs> hey, but let me, let me tell you something. As an NFL head coach, I'm not feeling great about my punter under center. Here's Allen. Clock counting down. He's going deep. And he wanted every bit of right now off the foot of Hauschka. How about it, Buffalo? And he is dead to right. But the guy that Dabo Sweeney said was the closest thing he's seen to Michael Jordan. He put the S on his chest, and he got it. To advance the Texans. Got it. I love the approach for Buffalo. I mean, I understand for Minnesota that they've got some issues between Stephon Diggs and Kirk Cousins, and at some point, if it doesn't work and they choose the quarterback, which they've done, and rightfully so, you move on. But I absolutely love this for Buffalo. Buffalo's making it very clear that they think that they can and will win the AFC East next year. I mean, you're looking at John Brown, who's predominantly an outside receiver, and then obviously Cole Beasley, who's their predominantly inside receiver. Now with the addition of Stephon Diggs, who can play both. You're talking about a three wide receiver set that Brian Dayball, their play caller, absolutely loves. Dawson Knox is a young tight end that's really good for them. Singletary at running back and Josh Allen has the opportunity to take another step forward. This is an outstanding move for Buffalo who is clearly making their run to go push for the AFC East Championship crown next year. I love it. Josh. Josh. He's going to try to run with it and now he's going to throw it into the end zone and he's caught. Touchdown. That's an MVP play right there in desperation flicks it like a shot put way to stay alive man 17, 10 14 17 left in the game Josh firing deep down near the end zone looking for Diggs he's got it touchdown touchdown he's got a man there it is caught Pascal makes a catch and he gives it up Tredavious White recovers how are they gonna rule it is the knee down when he's touched or did he lift it right there see I think that he's up before the contact touch. wow holy my the Colts get a major break four seconds left they get one play to make it Hail Mary situation final play of the game got to get a touchdown here Rivers back to throw waiting waiting going for all of it down the right sideline the pass up in the air it is knocked down and complete knocked down and complete the clock showed zero in the last second the Bills win it the Bills advance with their first playoff win in 25 years. Unbelievable finish. at the tree, the snap, the pass. It is caught by Diggs. Gets a few blocks and he goes into the end zone. 
Touchdown, Buffalo. The first touchdown of the game. Ten-three. Jackson fires, and that will be intercepted in the end zone by Johnson. Karen Johnson, and only Jackson can stop him now. Too late to the end zone. Touchdown. And the first red zone interception of Lamar Jackson's career is a devastating blow to the Raven hopes of going to the AFC Championship game. Let's go! And now it's party on in Orchard Park. The Bills are going to play in the AFC Championship game next week. Let's go! Corey Bajorquez in to punt for the first time. Snap. Bajorquez left puts it into the air. Hartman standing in his 11 yard line. Drops it. Muffs it. Loose ball. Looks like it's recovered by Buffalo. Going to spot him at the three yard line. First and goal from the three. Josh takes a snap. Keep it himself. Throws it to Knox. Touchdown. Touchdown, Buffalo. One play. The Chiefs get caught. Look at throw on a slant incomplete. Covered by Breeland. Now it's picked off. Picked off off the deflection. It's picked off by Fenton. Huge break. Huge turnover. Making the go stacks, and they're going to run a float pass. This side, touchdown, Kansas City. The trophy stays here. The Chiefs are back-to-back -back AFC champions. They are headed to Super Bowl 55 to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers.